what's good you guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we'll be looking at how to make a diy current sensor using a home edge shunt and interfacing it with arduino to get some good readings so let's get started uh, before we make the project here's some theory big, uh, on how to make the current sensor work so typically we use a shunt and the main concept behind using a shunt is to create a small amount of voltage drop which can further be amplified and measured by arduino so over here you see a typical circuit where the load is connected with a battery along with a shunt which is connected in the low side by low side i mean it's connect the load is being connected to the ground using the shunt now the advantage of this being is we get a reference of the ground on one side so that we don't have to worry about two different voltages if you use it on the high side now uh, shunts are typically a very small resistance is typically in the order of milli ohms so the voltage drop according to ohms law will be pretty less and this less voltage drop cannot be measured by arduino because the resolution of the analog reading of the arduino is pretty low and the minimum voltage is around 4.8 millivolts so some voltages can also be less than 4.8 millivolts so of course we need to amplify it to a certain degree so that we can get good accurate results from the arduino now for amplification i'll be using a non-inverting configuration of the operational amplifier i'm using the amplifier lm358 you can use any low noise amplifier you wish just make sure that uh, the characteristics are good enough for this application that th that thing's apart now uh, looking at the non-inverting configuration we see that well the non the non inverting con the inverting pin is directly connected to ground using the feedback resistances so we don't have to worry about uh, one side now the small voltage generated at one side of the shunt is been given to the in non inverting terminal of the operational amplifier over here we can see that the gain formula for the non inverting amplifier is 1 plus uh, the feedback resistance divided by the resistance r so over here my values are I've taken the values of around 320 kilo ohms for the feedback and 10 kilo ohms for the input resistance giving me a total gain of around 33 and as you can see that uh, typical shunt resistances have the range of around 8 to 10 milli ohms now this range can depend largely upon the amount of current you want to measure or the range of current you want to measure for my application it was uh, I wanted a resolution of around 100 milliamps uh, and the maximum range of around 10 amps and I think that this uh, around 8 to 10 milli ohms of resonance will work just fine for my application. So with this circuit now let's get to the building of the actual circuit on the PCB. Also I have added a small 0.1 microfarad capacitor at the output of the operational amplifier just to smooth out the output voltage generated by the op amp and to eliminate some high frequency noises if it is present. Now the operational amplifier is powered by the 5 volt supply of the Arduino and one thing that we need to make sure before making the circuit is that we should choose the gain in such a way that when the maximum current is passing through the shunt the amount of output voltage that is generated should be less than the supply voltage of the operational amplifier or else your operational amplifier will work in the saturation region and further amplification won't be possible. So in my, in, my, uh, in my practical circuit what I found out was if I was passing a current of around 7 to 8 amps from the shunt I was getting an output voltage in the order of around 2.5 to 3 volts which is of course in the range of the 5 volts and the operational amplifier shouldn't have any problem amplifying in that range but if my gain was higher at the same current level I could have got 5 volts and beyond that the operational amplifier would not have given me more voltage so we need to make sure we need to choose the gain such that the operational amplifier works in the amplification mode and not in the saturation mode so let's get started in making this sensor now for making the current shunt sensor these are the required components as you can see in this image for making the 320 kilo ohm resistance i combined in series a standard 220k resistor in series with the 10 kilo ohm resistor giving me a total of 320k and for the input resistance r i used the standard 10 kilo ohm resistor as shown for the operational amplifier i'm using the ic lm358 consisting of two operational amplifiers of which i'm using just one for making the shunt i had a large single core steel wire 
laying around in my home which I cut it to a reasonable size and just bend it around to give it a proper shape. You can I easily make such kind of a shunt if you have such steel wire at your home or you can simply salvage some of these shunts from old unused or damaged multimeters just like it is shown here. Any of these shunts will work typically fine. So the next thing that we need is an Arduino Uno, Nano or any equivalent Arduino that you would like to use along with some jumper wires and a USB cable for connection with the laptop and also for uploading the code to your Arduino. So here are some images of the build process and as you can see I used a zero PCB and cut it to a required size so that all the components fit in perfectly. I made sure that I place the components such that I don't have to use any jumper wires and all the connections can be made out of just solder traces in order to make the circuit more neat and sturdy. For easy connection of the load with the shunt system, I use these components uh, which are easily available in the market and they are called screw terminals. By using screw terminals, it's very easy for me to change or remove different loads of which I want to measure the current. Also it makes the connection more neat and sturdy. Well after completing the entire soldering process, giving some minor touch ups and connecting the screw terminals, this is what the entire module looks like. Just to give you a comparison, this is how it looks compared to a 2 rupee coin. It's pretty small and yeah you can easily fit this module in any of the circuit and easily measure current. Now it's time to measure some current using our current sensor module but hey here's the tricky part. First we need to calibrate our current sensor so that it gives correct reading of the current that we are passing through the load. For that we'll be using a standard multimeter in the current mode that can give us the current value which is passing from the load. What we'll do is, we'll take the output from the operational amplifier and feed it to the analog input of the Arduino. By utilizing the serial monitor, we can easily get the analog values corresponding to the different current levels. Now we can compare this analog value to the different current levels measured by the multimeter and then multiply the analog values with some constant to get the proper current values calculated by the Arduino. So in this way, we can get pretty much accurate results both in the Arduino and the multimeter. With that being said, uh, this is my complete setup and as you can see I've connected my Arduino with the small OLED setup where I can display the analog values of the Arduino as well as the measured current value from my current sensor. For a load I am using a small exhaust or 12 volt DC motor and as you can see the I have two values displayed on the OLED. The first one is the analog value which the Arduino is calculating and after multiplying it by a constant, I am displaying the current value. So this is the DC small DC exhaust fan load as you can see and from my multimeter, the current reading I am taking is around 230 milliamps or 0.23 amps. Let's compare this reading with that of the measured one with the Arduino and this one is a small 12 volt battery that is used to power the small DC fan. So as you can see it's a draw, it was drawing around 230 milliamps and if we compare it with the reading of the Arduino it's pretty close to that and let me just zoom a little bit focus and then yeah and as you can see it's pretty close to the calculated 230 milliamps we am getting around 210 milliamps that's pretty close to the current value measured by the multimeter so this was my small project on how to make a current sensor hope you guys liked it and if you have any queries or questions uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section and see you next time